Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I have a very different video for you guys. Today we're going to be trying out two different grocery stores and whether or not you guys should shop there and also to show you what you guys can get for roughly the same amount of money at both stores. So today we went to Costco and Aldi. I spent about $44 at Aldi and $48 at Costco and I'm going to show you guys what you guys can get for the same amount of money. We're going to start with a smaller pile which is of course Costco. So Costco is a really cool place where you can get larger quantity of things and that's why I wanted to check it out to see what I can find that's vegan there and also see how much it is versus the actual other stores that I usually buy these products from. So to start out I'm going to start with a home product. These are eight pack kitchen towels and I believe they were about a dollar each so it was a really good deal really good quality you can see that it's gonna last us a while now for the actual food items to start out we got some balsamic glaze um, every time I see this it's usually pretty expensive or it's just not really good quality balsamic glaze this is straight up just balsamic glaze with a little bit of cane sugar I love butter lettuce you can use it for like making tacos you can chop them up for salads. They're the perfect lettuce for like burgers or sandwiches. And when I found it at Costco, it was only $6 for three. The next thing that I picked up are these naan breads. So basically what I do with these is make pizzas. You can add hummus to it. You can toast them up and then eat them with hummus. And these are pretty big packs. So what I do is put one in the freezer, eat one pack, and then once that's done, we take the other one out of the freezer and you're saving a lot of money in the long run. And for our last product of Costco, I got these hippies. Um, cheddar puffs, these are the vegan white cheddar flavor. One of my favorite things to snack on. So I usually get this at Whole Foods because it's the only place that I can normally find it at. However, it's pretty pricey for a very small bag and in it comes like, I want to say like 10 chips. This was about six something. So normally I spend, like I said, $2 and some change on a small bag that's like literally this small. However, this is a big bag for $6, so I'm very excited. As you guys can tell, I got a lot of stuff. So let's start out with these hot dogs. They're the Jumbo Aldi brand, meatless Jumbo hot dogs. And they're like something that I don't really eat that much, but I do like to eat them occasionally. I also like to put them in like a puff pastry or like make corn dogs out of them. To go with that, I got some simple vegan hot dog buns. This was 65 cents. Their bread is super freaking cheap. Even their organic bread was only like $2. Like, I was very, very impressed. This was on clearance for 35 cents. Normally, it's like a dollar something. So, these were on clearance, and I don't think there's anything wrong with them now. It expires on February 16, 2020. So, like, we got some time. Um, and what I like to do with these is either make a dessert out of them or put hot dogs in them and make like cakes in a blanket. Super cheap. If you didn't know, usually these are vegan. Picked up a mini watermelon. This is probably the last watermelon that you're gonna get of the season. I also picked up some apple pie filling. What I like to do with this is do like an apple pie pop tart. Um, there's so much that you can do with this and this makes life so much easier. Also, a lot of times these are already vegan. Just check the ingredients list. Cinnamon applesauce and I'm so excited because I love apple cinnamon applesauce. It's one of my favorite like dessert sweet treat kind of thing and this I usually will just take like a spoonful when I am craving something sweet and it gets rid of that like craving that I have. Next up we have some roasted garlic hummus. This was $1.65. Super duper cheap. You guys know that blackberries are my favorite fruits. They were on sale today for 99 cents. That is a freaking deal and these are just blackberries literally. I had some seedless red grapes. Um, I don't know. I just love grapes. They're delicious. I like to have them in my fridge for like snacking on for grapes. I like to say. I love grapes. One thing I do love about Aldi is that their produce is really affordable. So affordable. Very inexpensive. And I love to pick up like fresh herbs and stuff from there because they're so cheap. I got some green onions. The only thing that I complain about is that everything comes in plastic. Doesn't it cost you more money to wrap this in plastic than it does the not? Some French beans. These are green beans. So they had the regular green beans. I don't remember how much this was because it didn't have like a price tag. However, the regular green beans were like $1.99. Um, I didn't get the regular ones because I don't really like them. So I got the bougie kind, butter it, get it browned up with some garlic, and it's the perfect side to any meal. Next up, I have some Yukon Gold Mini Baby Potatoes. Yukon Gold Potatoes just make the perfect mashed potatoes. I have only ever used molasses one time in high school in my cooking class. And I'm actually gonna be recreating a recipe that I learned in that cooking class in high school, which was like in 2011. 2011, 2011. 
think it's 2011. But it's one of my favorite recipes. I'm not gonna show you guys the name yet because I want to learn how to veganize it. And then once I do, I'm gonna share it with you guys. But molasses is like the main ingredient. So we got some molasses. I'm trying to like drink my chocolate milk obsession less. But until I get that and I keep on going through my withdrawals, I need my chocolate syrup in-house to save me. This is my favorite marinara sauce. It's the specially selected premium marinara. It's the Aldi brand as well. And this marinara sauce has been the best marinara sauce that I have tried from any store brands. It's just a really affordable tomato sauce that you can make pizza with. You can add it to pastas. It doesn't taste cheap. That's all I can say. It doesn't taste cheap, try it out, it's really good. And the last item that I got are these cauliflower crackers, sea salt flavor, and it's made out of cauliflower. It's the Simply Nature brand, um, and it looks just like a Cheez-It, so I'm very excited to try this out to see if I like it. All right, that is it. That is everything that I got at Aldi. And as you guys can tell, Aldi is the freaking winner. Like, it's crazy how much money you spend at Costco and how little you get versus going here. I will say, if you go to Costco for certain things, you're probably saving way more money. Like, if I would've bought the hummus at Costco, I probably would've got a bigger bang for my bucks than I would've got at Aldi. However, since I don't eat that much hummus, I don't see the purpose of it. So I think there's pros and cons to everything, but in my opinion, Aldi is the better option here, unless you're a person that needs bigger quantities. Let me know where you guys shop at, if you guys see different price comparisons, like where else should I shop at? Let me know, challenge me. I love these kind of challenges. So that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next one. But before I go, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Join the La Comida Jeremy Familia. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.